beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Right, so here we are playing a little bit of uh, uh, Alan Wake 2. This guy's seen some better days, hasn't he? Um, now, what's going on? Let's have a look. <clears throat> so I have actually uh, dipped into this game a little bit already, so I'm playing it fresh. New, new, new start. I've only played about half an hour of this game, so... I'm I'm just looking around a little bit. So after the uh, the recent um, rapid purchases of uh, different games last month, um, trying to look for a, um, a little bit of fun in gaming again, um, I uh, pre-ordered. Uh, Starfield and found that um, I didn't enjoy it <laughs> and it bugged me from the get go like from the very first time I landed in the first um, city and it just it just bugged me and I was brought to tears and I found myself having to turn it off because I was so bored this game on the other hand feel like I might be able to finally find some fun in a game. Um, these massive open world RPGs, just I just don't get um, enough fun out of. Something that can point me in, keep me in a smaller world and give me something like this, you know, like I can look at this... Uh, small little ecosystem here that mountain looks awesome um, one thing I say uh, I'm really impressed with the whole aesthetic and the feel for this game already um, are those clouds moving as I move okay He's really upset. He's almost crying. Bless him. Oh, we've got voices. We're going to get a jump scare, aren't we? Over there, was it? I love the way um, the environment, you start seeing things in the environment, like something looks like a... a limb or a person or you know I saw like you see a tree branch move like it was wave waving or something <laughs> oh, good Christ almighty 
Oh, I don't need this. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> oh, this only just got started and I'm already getting like that. Look, look, look. Like the, the trees are waving at you, like, go away. So I've, I'm playing it on a controller because I like playing on a controller. So sue me. Yeah, I'm on a PC. I'm not going to play on keys and a bloody mouse like it's 1985. Oh, it's quite, it's quite scary. <laughs> I don't like it. The downside to playing this game on my PC is, um, right, I'm running because I don't like that sound, it's like it's coming from behind. Right, was there anything there? No. Look at the trees going mental. They come and get me. What, what if I, what if I sprint? Oh, they shoot me! Run! Run! Oh no! Ah. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ow! Oh! 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 Just say F him in the A. Oh, gross. Jesus. Alan, wake to <laughs> Awesome. Finally, finally, some fun in a game. Please, please give me some fun in a game. Please. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. God, Starfield I'm was sorry, a, I've been gone uh, so was disappointing. But mind you, I, I should try and go back on, into it and fault. try and do something else. But it's the, the extremely long dialogues with What's just about that? half the people, well, are NPCs in the game, the just kind of bored me to tears. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. The loading screens in between planets were well, so disappointing. And um, the, the Liberty, Phantom Liberty ex expansion for Cyberpunk was good. Um, actually made me feel like it was actually finally finding the game fun to play. Um, but again, it doesn't quite do it for me, that game. I don't know what's wrong, but... Oh, by the way, um, my partner looks... Where she gets that from? Looks a little bit like an older Max Payne, doesn't he? Look, look it at him. Be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Max Payne, 
like I'm just gonna call him Max. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Is it me or the okay. the lip syncing animation Any is of way advice? off? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Am I being too sensitive? I think so. It is off though, isn't it? Here we are. Call awesome. Lake. Look at the game, it looks absolutely stunning. Deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Eaten by a bear. His uh, mouth opened a bit too much for that. I'm, I've found something picky. <laughs> I'm being way too picky. Just these uh, but Before we get swallowed look. up by the trees. Yep. Let's look at his mouth and when he talks and look. Look at the light. I should take a look at that map. I know, but I'm looking at his mouth. Come on, Max. Say something. Right. I think, uh, right. Map. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Yeah. Well, he started running. I'm trying to look at his mouth. Over here. Hey there. Hey there. Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Gee. You mean Max. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Mm. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, I like the writing. you know, inside. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Let's take a look. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. This game looks amazing. Um, one thing I want to point out is um, I was going to mention this earlier, Before we get but to I the forgot. Crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the mind place. Are they going to do a mind palace? Okay, what's it doing? Oh, I got to press it. I gotta press that button. The mind place. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. Oh, from to sift through clues and work Conrad. Case. Building Sherlock the mind Holmes. place again for each case, using each field office as a model in my head. The facts um, are on the board. Oh, so we walk over here. We press A. Everything we know about the previous murders. That looks great. Worth taking another look. Right. 
So give me a second. I'm I, I'm keep sa- going to say um, I was going to say this earlier that I'm playing this on a fairly budget PC. Um, fairly budget. Um, not uh, haven't spent a crazy amount of money. Um, using a fairly low end graphics card. Um, I can't remember what it is, but uh, um, I can um, put it in the stats or something. You know, I've got. Um, I've got a decent amount of RAM, but apparently I've put the RAM in wrongly. I've got two, three sticks out of four in. <laughs> Should have bought two lower end, like lower end stuff. I've bought like the most expensive RAM I could find, and I bought three of them. Um, so that's wrong. I'm not like a PC builder guy, but I I built my first PC like God twenty years ago. And I didn't really do it for a hobby, but um, this gr- this game looks amazing on my uh, PC. So uh, you know that that's good. Move around, okay? We're gonna move around. Uh, left trigger, right trigger, like that. You can pick things up with that. Free to navigate. Right. So oh. Uh, why do I always get attracted to things that I'm not sp- <laughs> Oh, we've got something there. Series of murders. Yeah. yeah. Murder method. Slight difference in bloating only. What is that? Only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water, post-mortem. So. Ooh. Talk to someone. Method. Victims. I like the way it sort of sticks to things that are kind of... Yeah. Victim was reported missing in 2010. And there's different... This is great, you know, like if you wanted to... I remember being in a... uh, When I was at school, um, a a teenager, um, 30... 30 odd years ago <laughs> and um, yeah, being in a hist- my history class uh, the teacher the, one of our last projects was um, reconstructing an accident scene on a road and being like a private detective and imagine doing this something like this in school this game like piecing together um you know, t- you'll probably have to take away all the gory stuff. Anyway, I don't know why I mentioned that. It just reminded me of like when when I first learned about like piecing together a um, a crime scene, if you like. Port of missing to the uh, discovered into the oh, buried in a shallow grave. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on wrists. Found in Cauldron Lake, 2018. Some organs missing. Preday. Predation? What's predation? The state of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Oh, really? Teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Hmm. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on the body is ele- illegible. Illegible. Oh, look at this grossness. Murder method. Bruising on the wrist. Deep gash in the chest. All bodies experience bloating. Killer profile. Hey, talk to someone. Victim 3 was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, m- maybe, or their art. Post mortem tattooing. Right. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims had nothing apparent in common. Killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. Why? Two goals. Get to the crime scene, meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. Cases. X. There's X on my controller. Ooh! I went in the drawer. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we there's the murder site. We're here. We're going to go down there. Take a left. Then a right up that little path. 
Yeah. Okay, let's go. How do we yeah, out there? You're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Ooh, what's this? What's this? It's like a camp. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. We crack cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty Stairs pleased with the old uh, okay PC. Down? I'm not that old. He is if he's if he's Max Payne. He is. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than the mirror peak of the iconic landmark overlooking the Cauldron Lake. From a right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted, inverted glory. <laughs> Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the door. Come on, I'll show you. Much better mouth animation than, than my partner Max Payne. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, he's joking. Let's just see this body. I guess the, their we? radios are always on. I thought you had to push a button like a, like a CB thing, CB radio thing. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Yep. Oh, there's a there's a pee pee. Step one. Examine the corpse. There's a heart. Almost not quite as interesting as the pee pee. <laughs> Body is positioned on the table. <coughs> Ritualistic. Oh no. Oh no. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind place. The mind palace. There's probably some jerk off. <laughs> that's so that's so harsh, isn't it? In a British accent it is. Um now there's some accents where you can swear. <laughs> And it doesn't sound like swear. It just sounds like norm normal, like the I the Irish can do it, and the Scottish can do it. But uh, yeah, you got my accident. Uh, accident. You got my accent, and it comes off a bit too harsh. Some jerk off um, has uh, got the copyright on um, the Mind Palace, right? Some somebody, even though the author has been dead for like a hundred years or something, um, allows Saga to see activities clues. The key image can be selected with a 
and placed. Another body turns up nice. just as we arrive. I like her jumper. Coincidence? Yeah. Oh my god, there's there's stuff happening now. Um another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see this. It's linked to the killings. We're here to investigate Cauldron Lake murder. Continue. God, I just had a the largest yawn ever. <laughs> it's not the game, it's just getting late. Uh, objectives are viewable in the case board in your goals. Goals? Okay, leave with B. Open the goals. Investigate the crime scene. Okay, I think we're good to go. Consistent with the previous murders. Eh? Find evidence. That's what we're doing. Clue. The killer left the heart right next to the yeah. body. Yep. Right, get a move on. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding yep. him down. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, another one. Inside stab wound. Yep. Chest cut that open. That looks disgusting. Heart removed. Case board, here we go. Uh, let's call those up. Um, new discovered clues to be placed on the room. Goals. Um, right. Right. Come on. How do we? How do we? How do we? How do we? I don't know how to place them. They're not coming up for damn sakes. Um. Come on then. Come on. Am I being retarded? Right, nothing's working. Do I go there? There? I've got three photos. Nothing's working. Have I got to hold on to it? I've got to figure out how... I can't... Nothing's working. Right, I'm, I'm pressing all the buttons. Right, let's go out. <gasps> Cases X. Um, nothing's working. Nothing's working. Honestly, I'm. I've tried every single button. Nothing's working, dude. Is this a glitch? I can't even exit. Oh, come on. Oh, what? See, I, now I didn't read the instructions. It's not... It's <laughs> Why? Where's it gone? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How do I place it? Like that, you gotta hang over the thing. All right, come on. Well, that wasn't very intuitive. From chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. Nice graphics. More clues to work with. Oh. This makes four Look murders that. that we know about. Amazing. I quite like the character as well. She's She's quite nice. Uh, the clues have resolved the open question and locked a deduction. As you advance in the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay. Check the updated goals. <gasps> learn about the killer, learn about the victim. Okay, let's go. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Right, need to be the mindful of um, nearby Multiple threats. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, that's my ca that's my case folder. Is it? Nice. Uh. Huh. 
multiple killers. Now this one goes up here. Think. Huh? Heavy blood splatter on the table. Is that from that guy's then? Oh, it's from that one. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Talk to someone. Right. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Right, let's go and talk to this dude. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Right, discover clues by speaking to people. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Um, so what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Pee pee. Nightingale uh, went missing sorry. 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So I did play the original Alan Wake and uh, I did enjoy it. I didn't finish it. Someone was drinking it, beer. It was good. They spent time here waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Case part. Was it for a camera? him in his current state but yeah i ran into him a few times at Quantico. robert nightingale that's a nice FFBI, touch i came to bright falls 13 years ago oh i sure do his name is nightingale he I was like FBI. That. he came to town about 13 years ago and i haven't heard a word about him since until now right they planned for the murder to happen here Passing the time with equipment ready. How close are they going to get on this him. character <laughs> in the mine what place? The mine palace. He's been missing for 13 it's like years. close up, close up, real close. Uh, and now Why we'll now? move back. What now? Profiling. See? Get into the Game's doing head. too much. See what they saw. Game's doing too much. Felt. Too soon, Use too much to take in. To guide my intuition to a Good grief. Piece it together. That, the board was already enough. Now we've got board, case studies, profiling. It's like, come on. Plus, all this is in real time. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Oh, Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. Yeah, I just learned that. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Why she got demon voices in her head? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. Well, I they think that... They see him as a person. 
That's just confusing. It's just confusing. She's got she's got demon voices in her head. For God's sakes. Right, can I do anything else on this table? Right, we go back to the mind palace. What's this over here? Oh, that's my map. What else is in this room? Ooh. Uh, the Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. What else have we got going on? Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. <sighs> For what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at, that will teach her so much. There will be times just like this, when you question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love you is no. Um, okay, so bit of character building, fine. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Ah, uh, daughter. Very good. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Logan H B D. Or should I say Mac? That, that looks like another version of Max Payne. What's in here? Oh, outside. Fane. Fane, Fane, Fane. Icons on the bottom left corner indicate a critical content is available. What? Yeah, but what, from back in the Mind Palace? Anything over here? I like the crime scene. The crime scene. Nothing there. Nothing there. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Profile the victim. Have I still not finished profiling? Ooh. This mug always cheers me up. Mm. I've done it. Right? Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. Skin. I've already done that bit. Right. I didn't realize I had to, after profiling, we had to put it on the board. Where's he been? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Hmm. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses to Booker's. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. Makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Pick it up then. Uh, 
A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. <laughs> Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. Max Payne. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was a the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Hmm. Okay. So I think, I think, I think that's it. Uh, until the next time. Right.